Hi YouTube, it's Rochelle from EJ's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday, April 9th. Yeah, April 9th. No, April 11th, 2021. So, to welcome to, I have a few new subscribers. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. So, what I'm going to talk to you about today, I'm going to try to make several videos. And I know it's been a couple of months since I've been on, but March was just a wash. And I said, let's start fresh in April. I think the last video I made, I was wearing my chief shirt. It was Super Bowl Sunday. We all know how that came out. So, you know, you know, anyway, let's just move on. So what I have today is uh, we're going to talk about strings. Now, when I'm cutting my fabric and I have lots of strings left, there are lots of things that I do with my leftover fabric. Uh, one of the things that I do, I'll show you here, is I have this vinyl bag. Now, I didn't make this vinyl bag, but I do want to make one one day. Um, one day and so I just have pieces in here various sizes various sizes okay various sizes and what I do with these this is my hand stitching my hand sewing bag and that's all I do some on occasion I'll pull some out and put on oh, I just dropped one uh, okay on occasion I'll pull one out and pull some out and put them on my sewing machine. But for the most part, this is just hand sewing. When I'm sitting watching TV, I don't feel like knitting. I don't feel like crocheting. I just want to do something. Um, this is what I do. So in this bag, also, I have this little pouch that I made. Did not turn out the way I wanted it to turn out. That's why it's in this sewing, in my sewing, my hand sewing kit. It's a zipper bag. And in here, I have this little, you know, um, I love these gripper things for when you are sewing and you just need to grip the needle, you know, the finger finger grippers. And they're also great for uh, free motion quilting too. I have a binder clip in here. And I'll have a couple of um, clips. I have a little small pair of scissors, two pair actually to clip my threads. And then in here I have thread that I use to hand sew some other stuff. So I just keep all of this in um, in this bag. Let me zip it up. It just goes in this bag. And when I just want to hand sew, this is the bag that I pull out. So there's that. Also, when I have strings, I have several, I have a big container of strings. And I was trying to use the Bonnie, Bonnie Hunter method. I love watching Bonnie Hunter as far as storage is concerned. So I had them all in different bins for the colors and everything. And I had too many. So I just put them all in one big container. Well, then I pulled some of those out and cut them smaller. So this is one container. If you uh, follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture on Friday because I was um, playing with my strings. So these are long strings, and you can see I've got some here. Well, let me pull, pull this up. Here's one that I've sewn. Here's one. And so I may even continue this, and I'll show you those later. Continue the journey with those, or cut these into smaller pieces and make more strings. So here's this bucket of strings. Uh, let's see, where I'm gonna put this. Put this down here. Here is another container of strings. You can see they are all sizes. These can actually go in my hand sewing, but I do use them. Um, let's see, some more strings. Let me see. Here's one that I put together. So anyway, here's another container, and I got this this bucket, this thing at the Dollar Tree, I think. I think it came from the Dollar Tree. So here's another container of strings. Now, what do I do with all these strings? I'll show you. I'll show you what I do. These strings turn into these little small pieces. If I can pull them apart, you know, this is how they start, usually, the smaller pieces. This is how they start. And then they, you know, they become these. strings and more strings more blocks and then also they become this size as you can see I just use all size blocks doesn't matter 
you know when I'm playing in my string as bunny hunter call it her, calls it her string bucket so when I am playing in my string bucket I love mixing color um, different styles look at that here's another one okay and so then they grow even larger well, I still need to work on that one. Here's another one. Here's some. This one. Here's another one. I mean, I could spend hours showing you my strings, but I'm not gonna spend that much time. So, you can see, oh, Betty's upside down. Okay, so I keep this size in here and I'll pull these out as they grow. I'll pull these out. Now, when they get to be where I, you know, kind of where I want them, I keep them in here in this scrapbooking container, which I love these things. I get them at Joann's and I get them when they're on sale. So now these are even larger. Okay. These are larger. These are larger. So this is when I decide, okay, do I want to cut them to a certain size block and make a quilt? Do I want to uh, make them into makeup bags, project bags, pillows, um, drawstring bags? And so that's when I make my decisions. Oh, but there's more. Hold on one second. These strings. Now, this is when I started following Bonnie, Bonnie Hunter. Telephone pages. These are four and a half by seven. And so what I do with these is I sew on these pages. Look, there's one that's not tore. I sew, sew on these pages. And these are the size blocks that I make. All of these have had the paper pulled off of them. Because when I get ready to make something, I just sit and pull all the paper off. I remove the paper while I'm watching TV. So these are these. And these are four and a half by seven. These still have the paper on them. I haven't taken the paper off yet. So these are in here. Sorry for the crinkling. And these two, I still need to finish. As you can see, there are still some sitting out here that I need to finish. So this is you know one block that I need to finish and here is another one that I need to finish I was watching my time so I still need to put a little piece on this side so these these strings and here's my little note that says they are 4.5 by 7 okay more strings this is when I first got into um, following Bunny Hunter and her method of strings. These are, here's my four and a half, yeah, four and a half ruler by June Taylor. This is copier paper. And so I use this copier paper and cut it up. You know, I have a certain um, rotary cutter that I use just for paper. So I cut these up and then I make now, I've already sewn these together, but you can see this is a block right here, and then this is a block down here. And so here's some blocks with the paper still on the back. I haven't trimmed these up yet. And so I have several, several of these, <clears throat> excuse me, several of these that I just need to trim up. See, like I said, they still have the paper on the back. So that, those are these blocks. So sometimes I'll make these into like size 16, 16 round. Um, and then I'll make uh, blocks or pillows with those. So I keep all this, this, no, not these. These are kept in my sewing room. But what I keep on my, my table here, how I sew all these, with this this is my uh, new home Janome purple thunder and I only use this for sewing my strings and as you can see I put a little um, uh, 
what do you call it, seam line, seam gauge on the side just to keep my fabric straight when it goes in. But it really doesn't matter because I'm just sewing strings. So when I, you know, finish working for the day and if I just want to sew for 30 minutes, I'll plug this in. Now it does not have an on off switch, so once you plug it in, it's ready to go. And I'll just sit here for 30 minutes and just run two pieces of fabric through, just do strings, strings. And I can do that for, you know, 30 minutes to an hour. So I love this machine. There's only two things I don't like about it. One is that it's slow, and the other one is that it's loud. So it has a loud motor, but it is tough. Uh, and I'll talk about, about that more when I show you when I do a video on my machines. Another thing that I keep beside this machine is this little container that I got from the Dollar Tree. And what I have in here, this is everything I need when I'm working on this machine. Uh, the thread has been on this machine probably over a year because like I said, all I do on this machine is strings. So in this container, I have three pair of scissors, I have three pair of scissors, whoops, three pair of scissors. I have a little small stiletto to help me, you know, get fabric through. I have a rotary cutter and I have this Omni Grid. And the good thing about this, I pay like $5 for this. It has a press mat on one side and a cutting mat on the other side. And so this is great to have by my machine when I'm piecing those little small pieces. And I also use this. This is a wooden iron that I got from Claire Rowley, Creative Feet. Uh, she was here in Denver a couple of years ago at a quilt festival. And so I met her and I bought this. And as you can see, it's got a bevel on one side, a little small one on the other side. And even you can use the bottom of it to uh, press seams open. So I keep that in here along with this and I also have pins who doesn't have pins no, can never have too many pins I have some point turners in here that I also use they're just in here really and then I also have q-tips a brush and extra needles and I keep all of that in this container here right beside my sewing machine so uh, that's my talk on strings. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and commenting. I love reading comments. I love watching other people's videos too because I love the comments. And so I'll be back with more soon. Have a great day. Bye.